What's poppin' people? Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. If you guys are wondering why I'm holding a GoPro right now, it's a little windy and I needed a little mic. So this is the little microphone today. We got a GoPro with a little fuzzy thing on top and I think it's gonna do the trick. But today we're gonna be doing some bass fishing. I got a few special guests that I think you guys are gonna be excited to see because they haven't been on the videos in a while. First one up. Yo, what's poppin' people? <laughs> is that how it goes? Yeah, that's how it goes, man. So what do you wanna say to the people? This is an interview session. Hashtag bring that back. You guys need to put some comments down below. Help out the old man. Been a long time since I've been fishing with my boy over here. So uh, anything else? What is, your I just you I got, got, a, I got a channel now. I'm slowly getting into this. Forgive me because I am nowhere near as good as Noah over here himself. But you know what? I've got the good personality, and I got this right here. You got the good looks. That's not too. something you can buy right there. So Noah's gonna try. But you know what? Big Steve's in the house. We're gonna do this. We're gonna have some fun today. Look who's in the background over there. Papa Payne. What's up? We got Isaac Payne in the house, old coach Payne. What's going on, motivators? What's going mm -hmm. on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, We're about to make it right. happen today. So what's what's the plan, Isaac? What do you uh anything you want to say to the people since it's been a minute since you've been on the videos? It's exciting to be back out here. I'm just excited to go do some fishing with my boy Noah, kicking their bass TV. He's graduated today, yeah, which is amazing. So couldn't be any other place in the world but with KTB TV today. So we're looking forward to catching some big fish. So yeah, guys, that's a whole nother topic. I actually ended up graduating college today. It's been a long wait. And a uh, big shout out to Big Steve. That and means big, he's off my payroll now, people. I, I've been off his payroll for, <laughs> for years. I don't know what's up with that one. But, and then we got uh, Coach Payne, man. Uh, I can't thank you enough, Isaac. He's the reason that I actually went to the school, if you guys didn't know. Helped me out with scholarships, every, everything. It's just the whole deal. I probably wouldn't be graduating college today if it wasn't for coach Payne right here so big shout out to you Isaac thank you so much uh, big shout out to you guys the supporters you know I have been doing this you know I haven't really got to do kicking their bass full-time and this is going to finally be you know full-time kicking their bass banging content banging videos big fish is happening that's what we're doing here so if you guys are new to the channel like I said hit that subscribe button and if you guys have been enjoying the content and you want to see some crazier content hit that like button but we're gonna go ahead and Go to the, we're gonna go ahead and hop into today's video. I'm gonna show you guys what baits we're throwing. We're gonna try to catch some big bass. We're actually at an area I have never been before. But let's go ahead and walk through the woods right here. Go down to the pond, see if we can catch some big ones. Let's get it. So we are walking back in the woods. Got old Coach Payne, Big Steve, up in front. I don't really know what to expect today. Hey, that scared me. <laughs> I don't really know what to expect today. It's actually a really beautiful day outside. It is a little hot. I will say that, but it's not as bad as Savannah. I'm actually in Atlanta right now, if you guys are wondering. Um, coming back up, you know, for graduation, for that whole deal. Seeing the family, seeing Coach Payne. She's pretty much part of the family. But, ooh, this place is looking really good. This is going to be, in my opinion, a really good episode. I love this lighting here, too. Let's sit back and chat for a minute. I want to know what type of videos you guys want to see, because, like I said, this is going to be my chance to run this thing full time. It was either high school or college that I was in the whole time. Um, so I really want you guys to put some thought in the video ideas down below. It's really gonna help me out because I want to go at this 1000% so hard. I I'm just so excited to hit it. I've been waiting my whole life for this opportunity. So yeah, leave some comments down below. Drop what videos you want to see. Be descriptive because that's gonna help me a lot. But uh, let's go ahead and make this happen. I might chuck, dude. I might start off with a quake. Lipless. So Isaac, you're starting off with a spinner bait. Dad, you're starting off with a backlash. <laughs> and I'm starting off with a uh, Quake 80. And this is in the natural color. This water that we're fishing today is a little bit stained. This is normally not the color I would throw in this, but we're gonna try it first. And if, if we, like I said, if we have some bites, then we're gonna stick to it. If we don't, we'll switch up. We're just gonna start off with this because like I said, one of my favorite baits, Quake 80. If you wanna get a discount, you can. I'll link it down below. Somebody's been fishing. Got a little white lizard. We'll pick, actually, we'll pick that up. Don't be littering, guys. Always pick up your trash. Do the good thing. Even if you find trash, pick it up. We're gonna put this in the pocket. about to catch first fish today right here. Man, 
depends. Can you see if you can fix that for me? The backlash. The backlash. Now I know why I'm kind of good at getting out backlashes. You got it out, you're a twinkie butt. No, I want these caches a few times. You know what, you got that out? Yeah. What? I got a tick on me. Ah, God, you pulled my hairs out. I got a tick on me, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, it was a tick on my leg. He was pretty big. I actually felt him. Yeah, I'm bleeding. That's why I wore pants, because I didn't know what was going to be out here. All right. <laughs> At least we know. All right, guys, we're going to be switching over to a fluke right now. Chuck that quake just a little bit. Nothing long, but messed around with it a bit. You see this fence that sinks into the water right here. That goes into the water, not sinks in the water. Should be a fish realistically next to that. This flute can be a really good bait to get one to bite too. Oh, he came off right there. That's for first bite today, yeah. I think it was a small one. Or you can see where his teeth marks are on my on the fluke. It looked like there should have been one right there on that fence post. Alright guys, we got that new six cents frog. Like I was showing in one of the previous episodes. We're gonna cast over this fence like an idiot. Just bear with me. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm going to do. It looks so good. I'm telling you, if we could fish that pocket, maybe game over. Got him. God, N no. Oh. Dude. Yeah, that was crazy. Well, first fish today. Look at that. This is a fat guy, too. Popped my fluke twice. He ate it like a topwater right there. That's cool. That might have been the fish that bit me earlier. There's a bunch of weird. This is a weird colored bass. Let me tell you. It's got like some weird. It's, God, it's so weird. I think it's a lot to do with that water clarity in here. But it's just got some weird markings on them. That's awesome though. First fish, beautiful one. But that's how we need to start off today. Get a fish on the bank, and then you can go from there. A little pounder, get you right back. I thought he was big for a second when I hooked him. Oh my gosh. I think I had him stuck in that fence because my line is done. Done. Yeah, I think he was stuck in that stuff. That's why I just wouldn't move. Feel how bad it got for and I just retied this. It's like the worst fray you ever feel. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there must be something down there. Yeah, a big bass in oh. I, I don't know. It felt like one pulled back on me. There he is. Nah, he ain't big. Dude, I dead stuck that thing. Didn't even move, he's only about a pound. Second fish. Look at that guy, second fish today, another fat guy, just small and fat. God, he's hyper. And this time, you know, last time I popped it two times really quick and the fish came to the top of the water and ate it. This one right here, total opposite. I thought I had a bite the cast before. I threw it up in there, I let it hit the bottom, I didn't even move it, I was dead sticking it. And he just started running to the right. Little baby fish, about a pound. But that is something. We got two fish so far now. Throw him right back. So guys, we just pretty much found a pattern like fairly quick. So I caught that fish on that little, you know, fence I was going into the water. Oh, Dude, there's a boil right where my fluke landed. That was weird. I thought one ate it. Well, anyways, I caught that one right where that fence was going in the water. Then I went down the bank, threw off on the edge of this grass, and just dead stuck it, had one eat it. Isaac picked up his jig and within like five casts had two bites, one of them being a good one, flipping the edge of these bushes too. I think that's gonna be the trick right now. It's like a soft plastic, something slower. But that's what I think the trick's gonna be is just fishing this grass, fishing all the flooded bushes. And that's what's gonna end up catching a good one in my opinion. I mean, we caught a couple small ones off of it, but Isaac missed one that looked like it was really big. We just gotta keep on covering water. Oh, no.
go. Hammered me. So crazy. All right, watch this, guys. We're about to catch this fish. We're about to catch this fish. Just dead stick it. Not even touch it. He's got it. That's a pretty good one, man. Golly. Look at that. That's about a pound and a half. He's a big head on him. Golly. He's got two pounders head and a one pounder body. Freaking pretty guy though. He bit me the cast before. Just it's so weird how I'm working this fluke. Just having to let it kind of sit and and drift on its own and dead stick that thing. And that's what's triggering these fish to bite. And I uh, just got him right there out of that little patch. Beautiful little fish. About a pound and a half. That's the biggest one today though. Pretty guy. Let's get you right back in. Third fish, bro. Third fish. Oh, god, they're hyper. I'm gonna be honest. I think you can catch them better on like a Senko. The way I'm working it, I'm just throwing it there and dead sticking it. That fish right there bit me, and I threw back in there and just let it sit until my line started moving. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. One one hook set to the smallest fish of my life. I guess I was right, but if Big Steve would have cast it in there and caught this, I already know he would have been kind of mad. But fourth fish today, I, I don't know if Isaac's caught any. That is uh, that's not what we're looking for. That was actually kind of funny. I was just lifted up with one arm and the bass just shoots out of the water. I thought it was like a brim. Look at Isaac. Oh, he's on it. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, this is a good one, too. Isaac's got him. Dude, what? What? You ain't going to get him all the way up that shoreline. That was crazy. Those are like three pounds. <laughs> there you go. There's probably, what, two something? Ain't three. Yep. Oh, great. I wonder if we can get a release from up here. No way. Isaac literally were standing on top of this hill and he saw boil and cast it on him and fish ate it. Look at him popping out in the middle. Oh my gosh. That was a giant. That was a giant. That was such a big fish. Hopefully he eats this fluke. Come on. That was such a big boil. Oh my gosh, that even sounded like a freaking mammoth of a fish. Oh, he broke me! God. Oh my god, that was a giant. Dude, I just missed one that was huge. He ate it, guys. I, I, you want me to be honest with you? I had a fur on my line. I always do this to myself. I always do it, guys, every single time. Like, I do it to myself. I want you guys to understand that I'm not, I don't know if you saw that boil like I did. And that fish actually boiled when he ate my bait. That fish right there, I kind of saw the side. He could have been eight plus. <laughs> You've been kidding. That's probably the biggest fish all year. I just broke off like that. And, oh, there's no more talking about it, guys. The only thing we're talking about is retying, getting back in there, and trying to catch one. Gosh, why did I have to miss a big one? That breaks my heart. So my dad rigged up a little speed worm on a shaky head. I'm just going to take his rod. I don't think I have another EWG. I messed up bad right there, guys. That was one of the biggest fish I've seen in a very long time. I played it so perfect. I played it so perfect, and I ended up just messing up in the end. And his drag is not tightened down. What was that? You guys hear that? Oh my God, guys. Big fish just swam off this pile. That's actually where I got broken off. Oh, there's multiple. There's multiple. There's multiple. We might get bit right here. I actually see this thing moving because they're moving around in it. Those are some big fish. Isaac. I ain't gonna lie, I broke one off that I think it was probably seven, eight pounds right here. Dude, the fish were so big and they're coming up on this tree. No, I broke them off. It was like a, dude, I swear that fish was biggest fish of the year. No, just biggest fish all year for me. Dude, look at the boils, bro. I'm telling you, they're huge, man. All I have is a shaky head now, though that the boil was so big that I thought it was like an alligator, but there's not alligators here. Wait a minute. What? Isaac, I got one right here. Yeah, I see him, watch this. 
Oh, he backed off of it. How big was it? Oh, oh. Uh-oh, he's about to eat it. Oh. Golly, dude. Oh, Lee! <laughs> How big was that? I just, uh, there, no, dude, I stuck him, bro. I, uh, you think he's about six, seven pounds? Why did I miss two giants back to back? Well, she just came up and munched that sucker. Jeez. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah, that's a good one, Bradley. Scooter on in here, boy. Scooter on in here, boy. That's a good one. Look at that. It's almost a three pounder. Look at it spawned out, out bro. Golly. That's a good fish though. That's a good fish. If she was uh if she wasn't spawned out, it'd be a three pounder. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'd still say she's two and a half easy. Oh yeah, two and a half for sure. She might be pushing that. Three. I don't know. First little good fish. Good job, Bradley. Look at the size. Good right? job. Give me some. Yeah. Sure. Guys, you see that snake right there? Bradley just stopped me. I thought he was toying with me. We were just talking about snakes. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Dude, I don't like that, man. At least that's not a cotton mouth. He was just chilling you. there, wasn't he? I stopped you. Was that a king snake? Nah, that's a black racer. Money. I've caught one on that actually. One? Jig. Um, it's about three and a half. There should be some right here in this corner. There, you're about to go over a bed. You got him. <laughs> Golly, he's right on that bed, wasn't he? Little baby. Little baby on the prawn. On the prawn. Another fish. It's your second one, right? Bradley. Did you break it off? Say again? Say again? Say again? How big? That might have been, been the biggest fish I've ever hooked. I've never had a fish hit a trap that hard. Okay. Snapped me right off for some reason. What? I've never in my life had a fish. Like, I don't even think I've had a fish hit me on anything else. Look how clean that is. What? Dude, he hit it so hard, Bradley, that it... Dude, that was... Why did it break that clean? It's like it's not even a bass, you know? Bro, that was the hardest bite I've ever had in my life. You get him? You got him? <laughs> I'm gonna throw this rod of yours. Bradley, I'm not even kidding, dude. That fish might have been 10 plus. Really? I'm, I'm being serious. I've never had a bite like that in my life. He hit it so hard, he knocked slack in the trap. And when I leaned back, I felt him for a second and he just busted off. Golly, guys, that sucks. It's a brand new, brand new snatch. That was the hardest freaking hit I've had in, like, ever. That was stupid. Like, it almost hit me so hard that I don't even think it was not even a fish, dude. It's like a freaking an animal of some sort. Oh, look at that right there. One just swam. Did you see that? That was, like, almost a three-pounder. He swam out of the grass that I cast it in. <gasps> Get him. Oh my god, that was so cool. Dude, that was so cool, Bradley. That is a three pounder. That's a good one, dude. Holy cow, he's fat too. He ain't post spawn. That was a fish that swam off the bank. Yeah, I know. That's incredible. That was insane. <laughs> that was that was so cool. I paused it and he just sat there and just you know, uh, I'm, I'm praying that the GoPro saw it because it's super clear. That was actually really cool. He yeah, saw us, too. Bro, that is a solid three-pounder. Holy cow, that's just a football. That's a big fish, man. Yeah. Good job. Dude, that was dope.
See, she swam. I threw up on that grass. She swam all the way out from the grass, and somehow Bradley got her attention. I didn't think she was going to eat that easy. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I literally looked to my left, and it was just right there in front of me. He just put it in his mouth. I was like, oh. No, nah, they do. Dude, I literally stopped my GoPro. That was the male, Bradley. That's the male of your fish. Guys, I stopped my GoPro as he ate it, and I freaking had to wait and then hook set. He came right out of that grass, same spot that that Bradley's fish just came out of. Next cast, munch that prawn. So you can tell this is the male, about a pounder. Dude, holy cow, that was cool. Did you watch him eat it? <laughs> that was so neat, the water's just so clear. You can really just sight fish them. That's awesome, I didn't see that bass, so he came right out of that guck that he just threw in right there. This, look at the bass color from him being in there. It's awesome. Dude, that's so cool. That was such a cool catch. I wish I could have showed you guys. I shut off my camera. This color right here, the green pumpkin blue is perfect. Perfect for this water. I just killed it. I can't see him because of the sun. You got him? Ooh. Nice. Jeez, he's fighting hard. <laughs> How's that one on that bed, wasn't it? Yeah, finally got him. You stuck him earlier. I stuck him earlier, but he wouldn't bite. Was that on the clock? Yeah.